Hello, I'm Mike Embley. And I'm Sally Bundock. This is The World Today from BBC News. French police arrest a man in connection with the forest fires devastating the south of the country. UN Secretary General Kofi Annan calls on the Security Council to approve peacekeeping troops for Liberia. Saudi Arabia says it's an outrage and it's been linked to the September 11th attacks. And in business, one year on, have US reforms helped clean up corporate America? A very warm welcome to the world today, an hour of the latest international news, business and sport. Police in the south of France have arrested a man after a number of forest fires which have devastated a mountainous area near the coastal resort of Santa Maxime. Sally Bundock here now with the business news and a year since those sweeping reforms were meant to help clean up corporate America. That is absolutely right. Today marks the one-year anniversary of what's called the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. That's in World Business Report, of course, which is coming up in 20 minutes. And as ever, we'll talk you through the financial markets around the world. Our team of specialists are waiting to tell you what's going on. At the moment in Asia, we're seeing some serious declines in Japan, 90 points lower at the moment for the Nikkei 225, reacting to earnings out yesterday. But as I say, I'll be back with more later. I'll see you then. Now, though, back to Mike. They're standing by, poised. Me, <laughs> they are you. indeed. Thanks very much. Sorry. The United Nations refugee. You're watching the world today from BBC News. We have coming up the latest international sport and searching for the missing thousands. Why it may be easier to smuggle children into Britain than drugs. Now over to join Martin Croxall for a closer look at the news around the UK. Hello, Martin. Hello there, Mike. Thank you very much. Good morning. The High Court is due to make a ruling on a... You're watching The World Today from BBC News. A reminder now of the main international headlines. French police arrest a man in connection with the forest fires devastating the south of the country. The UN Secretary General calls on the Security Council to approve peacekeeping troops for war-torn Liberia. And in business, Sarbanes Oxley comes of age, but how effective are the reforms? More on that from Sally in just a moment. But first, this thousands of children may be. Adnan Nawaz is here now with all the latest sports news, including one of the most famous footballers in the world announcing his retirement. Kind of. Yeah, kind of, actually, Mike. It's strange, isn't it? Why would anybody announce their retirement when it's not straight away? Well, he's in Edin Zidane, and he's one of the great... That's it for the moment, Mike. Thanks very much, Adnan. Very briefly, the main international news... That's it for the moment, Mike. Thanks very much, Adnan. Very briefly, the main international news police in the south of France have arrested a man for questioning about the forest fires which have devastated a mountainous area near the coastal resort of Saint-Maxime. As the fighting in Liberia goes on, despite numerous ceasefires, the UN Secretary General has asked the Security Council to approve the immediate deployment of Nigerian peacekeepers. I'm back after the weather with a World News Summary, followed by Sally with the World Business Report. Welcome back to the world today. My name is Mike Embley. Sally Bundock will be here in a moment with World Business Report. First, let's give you the top news stories. A 30 year old man has been arrested. One year on, have US reforms helped clean up corporate America? And Unilever toasts tea and ice cream as warm weather heats up sales. This is World Business Report, your global briefing on the business day. In this show, we'll have expert analysis of today's top stories. Plus, we'll go live to the world's main market sites. Our team of specialists will talk you through all the stock action. Welcome to the show. I'm Sally Bundock. And we start in the United States as today, Wednesday, marks. This is World Business Report, still to come on the programme. 
Hugo Boss battles to boost its business as global slowdown bites. But first, a look at today's UK. You're watching World Business Report on the World Today, and Mike is here once again with the news headlines. Mike, he is. it's Sorry, all yours. Thank you. Thank you. A 30-year-old man has been arrested for questioning about the forest fire sweeping across the south of France. The fires have killed four people. Police are now checking the identity papers of people visiting wooded areas to discourage arsonists. The UN Secretary General has called on the Security Council to give urgent approval to Nigerian peacekeeping troops for war-torn Liberia. Saudi Arabia says it's an outrage that it's been linked to the September 11th attacks. In the business news, Sarbanes Oxley comes of age, but how effective are the reforms? And will ice cream sales help rescue revenues at the food giant Unilever? Now, some say it's one of the hottest names in fashion. And that brings to an end World Business Report. I'm Sally Bundock. And I'm Mike Emberley. Wherever you're watching in the world, thanks for being with us here on The World Today.